Hi Sagittarius, how are you? It's me Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. So this is going to be a reading for Sagittarius from January 1st to the 15th. I have two decks I want to use for you, Sag. I have the Oracle of Mystical Moments, which I want to use to pull your general energy, but I also have the Cosmic Slumber Tarot that I want to use for the bulk of your read. These are two very unusual decks. Um, for, for me to want to use. I would never think to combine them in the same spread, but alas, here we are. So for the next two weeks, Sag, I'm pulling in a couple downloads, one of which has to do with temper. Um, there's a lot of really dense energies right now, um, just in the collective. And then when you add in the end of the year, the beginning of a new year, the solar flares, the Schumann, just everything, all the energy, it can manifests itself through us as anger or frustration it's a really common thing that's also how like we purge emotions we purge density that kind of gets stuck in our being but there's a need to bring in temperance like just be mindful um don't even if you are irritated just make sure you're giving yourself the time to kind of just like purge and work through those emotions um be mindful of like any outbursts it's like a sharp tongue sort of thing um that could come out of like defensiveness or or fear we are in the pre-shadow of mercury retrograde so that does bring a lot of like misunderstandings or miscommunication so just make sure you're giving people in situations the necessary amount of time in which to like properly explain themselves like feel free to ask questions like before you have an emotional response right that you may regret later on the <clears throat> other download i'm pulling in for you Sag, is uh, occam's razor now if you don't know what occam's razor is um it's basically saying that the simplest solution is, or answer is typically the right one um it's about assuming as little as possible and again this kind of ties into the other messages that i had gotten for you sometimes we can make assumptions sometimes we can kind of like create stories in our head that like may or may not be what is actually happening it may not be what someone actually meant um and so just to be like really mindful of that before you allow yourself to get again triggered or angry or upset at something that may not be quite what it seems very good very good so <clears throat> let's let's say a little prayer for you Sag, and then we'll get into your reading very good very good. Father God, thank you for bringing me and my Sagis in for this reading. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Sagis highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you. We love you. We thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages. To the utmost high, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Sag. So you only got one. You only got one card for your general. 45. 45 breaks down to a nine. A nine is a very pinnacle moment it's also a deeply individual moment this says new directions and you notice how it's sort of on this dandelion this is something that normally you would blow when you make a wish so sag i'm pulling in this feeling that you feel really alone that every direction you take you have to take it alone i'm also feeling a sense of frustration of being pulled in new directions a lot, having to start over a lot, um, having to adjust the course a lot. There's also this energy, see how there's like this bon voyage kind of moment going on in this card? I, I think sometimes, Sag, just, just, I could be wrong. I'm just, listen. Um, I think sometimes you may assume the worst out of people or situations and that may cause you to make up stories the ego the shadow creates stories in your mind which has you clear your board of all of the other players or all of the other things that you're working on and have this restarting moment but it feels like you do it a lot and the thing is, is that it feels as though whatever it is that you're leaving behind, you never quite fully process it. And part of the reason it may be difficult for you to process it is because you don't fully know what happened in those situations because the story 
ran faster and farther than the conversations you were actually having with those people or about those situations. I think this is something that's highlighted for you right now. Over the next two weeks, you may have some opportunities present themselves to you. They may feel deeply familiar and that may cause a bit of a trigger response in you. I feel called to say, just because some old things or some old people or situations, even feelings or memories, just because they pop back into your head, doesn't mean that you are backpedaling. You may see old things on a new path. And if you do, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's something else you have to get rid of. It might be something that's supposed to come with you. I don't know. Don't shoot the messenger. So let's get into these cards and see what else wants to what else wants to occur for you over the next two weeks. So the way that I'm setting up these spreads is I want to make sure they're really well rounded, and we have the ability to look at both your spiritual and your practical needs. So that's what we're gonna doing. I like to pull the spiritual side first, as I do. Um, we have the star coming out in reverse it feels like spiritually you feel a little bit lost i just heard orphan like you feel like a spiritual orphan maybe not quite knowing so oftentimes as we grow and we expand our personal spirituality or our personal practices we can find ourselves kind of dabbling in a lot of different things but sometimes when we dabble in a lot of different beliefs different kinds of magic different pantheons um just all of it all the encompassing thing sometimes we can bop around so much that we never really find our thing or kind of like our soul family or sort of what philosophy within spirituality really resonates for us. And sometimes that can make it feel as though we are regressing or certain prayers or ants or certain prayers or wishes aren't being answered, feeling as though we're not quite able to get the healing that we need. I feel like there's a need to pull back a little bit. The five of wands is here. There's this association that you have with, with the seven of cups and the doors. There's this association that you have with spirituality, it seems. And it's the idea that spirituality is hard. Healing is difficult. I'm not saying it's not. But there's a negative connotation, perhaps, that you're taking on about your spiritual journey. There's always another battle. There's always another dark night of the soul. There's always this, like, these guides ain't shit. Like, any of that stuff, right? Because when the Seven of Cups comes up in reverse, a lot of people um, talk about how it's coming out of confusion. And it absolutely can be. But the Seven of Cups in reverse also talks about realizing that the spiritual journey that you are on should feel more fulfilling than it does. And I oftentimes feel like a feeling of fulfillment comes from feeling like we belong somewhere with some people like it's that feeling of belonging that really creates that urge in us which is a beautiful curiosity to go out and to continue to explore different spiritual ideas and and all of that stuff and you know you are such a natural philosopher like you are so curious I absolutely love that about you but it might be time in the next two weeks to really kind of sit down and think about your universe and what's, what role does spirituality play in your life? Is spirituality your whole life? In what areas do we need more fulfillment spiritually? Maybe it's focusing on one spiritual philosophy for a period of time and not bouncing around so much and really kind of focusing on that before it's kind of... The, do you know what it feels like? It feels like the process of spiritual speed dating. You've spiritually been speed dating, just popping around to a lot of different things and instead moving to something like a like a one-on-one -on -one evening. You know what I mean? Like spend a little time, have an appetizer with, with, a, with a certain spiritual philosophy. Maybe you just need less spirituality right now over the next two weeks. Maybe you just need a breather um, and just kind of go back to full full people mode so that way you can get a little bit of breathing room. You can get a little bit of breathing room. 
and then come back and kind of reassess again what role spirituality is playing in your life and in, and in what ways does it need a little bit of an adjustment so you feel more supported in this process don't be afraid to ask for help too like with your with your guides or your angels or your demon whatever whatever, whatever you rock with set so let's see what's going on in your practical concerns we have the hermit so you're hiding a little bit there's a lot of frenzied kind of cosmic energy around you you we again we are in a pre-shadow of mercury retrograde we're still in a venus retrograde um we there's a new moon when i'm filming this there's a lot cosmically going on so i'm wondering if it's just a lot of pressure on your energy that could also be creating that kind of feisty or trigger sort of energy even like again that intrusive thoughts i do i do like that you're going hermit mode because again it kind of feels like you're taking your your phone off of the dial really going in and checking back in with self also peace peace seems to be really important to you right now you may be noticing some correlations over the next two weeks upon reflection of um times when you engage with certain people certain places certain things and you leave without a sense of peace that may be being really highlighted for you right now queen of wands in reverse that's that temper energy I think that this temper energy that I'm picking up on, I don't know if it so much is anger, Sagittarius. It feels more like feeling cornered, like feeling closed into a box. The moon. It's that Cancerian energy with the four of cups in reverse. Hold for a second. Hold for production. Closed in a box. It's like feeling cornered, but it's feeling cornered inside of yourself. There's this disconnect, Sag. That you, it, it's almost like logically what you know you can do, what you should be able to do. It's like the mobility is there for you, but there's this internal block that you have. And it, again, it comes from a lack of like inner fulfillment. And I think sometimes a lack of inner fulfillment can just come from not knowing thyself not understanding yourself enough, needing to spend more time with yourself. That also might be why there's this kind of um, fiery queen of wands in reverse energy too, because sometimes your shadow or your ego will ring the alarm. And it's not because there's anything going on around you that you need to be aware of. It's because the call is inside the house or something inside of you that's saying, I'm not acknowledged. I'm not happy. I don't know how to get what I want. And it's because you don't know that there's a need there inside of you that isn't being filled. And again, it ha it happens. But the next two weeks is a really good time for you to sit and for you to really think about that. Ace of Swords in your environmental energy. That might actually annoy you. If you sometimes that happens. Sometimes you're going through like a, a bit of a cloudy stretch, but everyone around you is like bright eyed and bushy tailed. Um, that can that can irritate you a little bit as well. Princess of Torches. It feels as though you're going to be picking up on like a new idea or a new idea, um, a new passion, something to kind of get you back in the game, get you kind of excited. It feels like it's going to present itself to you in your environment. So this might be something you overhear someone talking about. This might be something that you see on social media. Sometimes people say something and it just clicks this idea off in your brain and you go, wow, I didn't even think about that until I saw that one dumb TikTok. It, it's that kind of energy. The high priestess is in reverse. Uh, it's something that you weren't able to intuit. Again, it's an idea, but it's something to be excited about with this wands energy here. It's something that you didn't see. You didn't intuit yourself. Sometimes that happens. I'll watch other creators and I'll be like, damn, that makes perfect sense. Like I didn't get that download, but that absolutely is correct. It could be something like that. The high priestess in reverse doesn't just talk about um not being able to intuit something or not using your intuition. Part of what the high priestess does and she is consulting the one side of the veil before she moves forward into the real world, back into action. So sometimes when the queen, interesting, sometimes when the high priestess comes out in reverse, it is a bit of a call to action that this idea, some kind of project, something that sparks something up in you, it comes in, it seems like it clicks, it makes sense for you, it might be sort of what your niche is or, or where you're going to be most comfortable or that thing about yourself that you didn't realize that was a blockage, like that kind of thing that then allows you to go back out. 
and start participating again. But again, from like a new perspective, eight of torches, movement, movement. It allows you to just dive right back in. Perfect. I love it when spirit makes me look good. So let's pull out some tangible advice for you for the next two weeks. Three of torches, progress. You're making progress. That's really good. Make intentional progress. Don't just make progress for prog, prog wow. Don't, don't make progress just for progress's sake. That's what that feels like. Sometimes when we feel stagnant or we're just uncomfortable or we just feel like kind of fired up or feisty, sometimes we'll pick anything. We'll choose anyone just to like get us outside of that situation and feel like we're having some kind of mobility, right? Um, so again, just be mindful. This will come after you kind of sit and you reflect a little bit about at which part of your spirit is sort of ringing this bell because its needs aren't being fulfilled. Because again, it's directly connected to some of these intrusive thoughts or these narratives that you may um, construct in the mind having to do with other things, other people, right? Um, it may have to do with perhaps why you are struggling to find like a certain area of spirituality where like you feel the most comfortable. It might be something that's unexpected, just like this aspect inside of you. But again, environmentally, there seems to be something to kind of trigger this aha moment for you. And it immediately throws you into action. But again, just be really intentional about it. Three of cups, three, three, that's a master number. May have something coming in here. You could have. You, Janet, this is, because this is in your tangible advice and this 3 3 is a master number, it may benefit you to kind of explore some different ascended masters. Um, think about Gandhi, think about Jesus, think about, you know, the Buddha, Mother Teresa, like all of these ascended masters, and see if you can't notice, like, um, a singularity between them this feels more philosophical than spiritual that seems uh partially of what the advice is it kind of reminds me of like stoicism stoicism can be like a little cold sometimes but if you look like, kind of just across the board at all of the ascended masters they have this kind of air of stoicism about it right they're like a little bit unshakable they're very tempered they're very moderate in their approach they're very moderate um in the way they express themselves and i think just like discipline is um or structure rather i should say structure really serves a water sign well i think that sometimes a little bit of uh moderation in passion or a discipline of one's passion can really serve fire signs and i say that as someone who has a lot of fire in their chart and is also a water sign there's a, also a call to back to simplicity with this three of cups. Three of cups. This is this is what's happening. The the advice is for you over the next two weeks. Again, Sag, as we were saying with this new directions cards, that you might have a tendency to just do everything all on your own, but then feel backed into a corner or then feel really isolated or lonely. This three of cups, you're sitting here waiting for like the right opportunity or the right way to start something, the right way to begin this new direction, this progress, right? But you're so used to doing everything by yourself. Whereas this three of cups is really asking you to rethink over the next two weeks, your perspective on collaboration, on shared endeavors, on shared projects. It's this feeling of working through the narrative that you have in your head that people always let you down. Give people, give the universe an opportunity to prove you wrong about that thing. Again, this is philosophical, just kind of thinking about this theory, seven of wands, because if you are able to kind of challenge that with the sun, with that, it really is kind of this upgraded moment. And again, Sometimes the seven of wands talks about like a self-imposed challenge. And sometimes that's not a CrossFit competition. Sometimes it's this idea of being a little bit more vulnerable, which I've been talking to you about for like eight months now. But it's like this idea of being a little bit more vulnerable. And sometimes vulnerability is just the willingness to kind of change one's mind or perspective about something. But the sun here says that 
if you're able to do some of what we covered today, that there's a lot of healing that's going to come on for you. Part of the sun, what it's asking you to do in your advice column is um, try and take a glass half full approach over the next two weeks. Even if you find these moments where you get a little bit frustrated, take a glass half full, try and see the positives or the silver linings. Cause it oftentimes we can look at situations and immediately see the cloud without even noticing that silver lining. So try your best to focus on that. And I think you'll see some really nice shifts. Very good, very good. So Sag, I am gonna go do an extended reading for you. If you're interested in your extended reading or your January monthly reading, the links for that will be in the description box. Feel free to check out Patreon. We're doing a lot of fun stuff over there and I do offer personal readings if you're interested down below. I love you very much. I hope you have a wonderful two weeks. Happy New Year. I will see you next time.